hello guys welcome back to my channel uh first and foremost thank you guys so much for the love on my previous video today we're gonna be jumping into some more things because your girl's still been out here dating and things are getting a little hectic you know well we're gonna talk about it and you know just talk we gonna have girl talk as we always do as we should okay if you guys are new here make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the channel and let's go so i um took the day because I needed a break y'all it's been overwhelming at work I actually went in um to Target got my stuff my supplies finally got some more lash glue all of that so I'm super excited because y'all know I hadn't had it in a while but look we got it so it should be fine um and I'm going to use this this right here is the makeup revolution pencil I absolutely love this pencil I used to use the shade espresso but lately I think my brows are black like when I was looking in the mirror like the brown the espresso that I have been using, like the dark browns or whatever, I don't know. I just feel like they hadn't been dark enough, in my opinion. And back in the day, I used to use uh, black and then just kind of shied away from it for whatever reason. Maybe just thinking it was too dark, but it could have been just a heavy hand. I'm not really sure, you know. So um, I'm going to go back to using this, right? Then I have to update you guys on what's been occurring in my life. So me and my friend, we went out again. Like when I tell y'all, I have been living life. I've been living life. Not in the sense of like really wanting or needing a man type of thing. No, like I'm really living life. I feel like I've dedicated so much of my life to my children after I had them, you know, just being a mom and not wanting to do anything and just wanted to make sure that they were secure and they were okay, that I really lost touch oh that black is so much better yes ma'am um i lost touch of who i was you know so we've been going out and my friend i think she's kind of like in the same boat she has been married for a while no problems in her marriage or anything like that i think we just both are at a stage where we just miss going out like you know miss going out having girl time and just enjoying life so we went out um and i'm not never on the prowl you know like if something comes my way it comes my way but i'm not looking for it type of thing you know like oh my gosh i just gotta find a man tonight you know but i'm always dressed just in case i find a man and we were out and we saw this guy he was he looked like a younger guy y'all know i date older men we're gonna get into that in a second as well but um he looked like he probably was like 34 35 or whatever and we started talking and he was sitting in his car. I was sitting in my friend's car. Because, you know, it ain't nothing better than be out riding a Mercedes, baby. So I was sitting in her car and he was in his car. He had a Mercedes, a newer one. Um, and he kept putting his hand like he's the driver. Nobody in the passenger seat. And the way our car is pulled up, our car is facing his passenger door. Hopefully that makes sense. And he kept talking to me. I'm in the passenger side of my friend's car. He kept talking to me through the uh, door or whatever. But he kept making like movements with his hand, right? It was kind of like he needed me to see this. I'm using a little bit of my cafe of, of course, cause girl, what else do I have? <laughs> Nothing. Um, anyway, so he kept like moving his hands or whatever. So finally I noticed, finally I noticed that his nails were painted and not in like a clear coat type of thing. Like I just get a manicure no my man's goes out and gets full color like I think this was gel polish on his hands they were like a bright green like I was like oh that just ain't gonna work for me you know like if it works for you for a man to have his nails painted that's that's what works for you no judgment over here I'm just saying for me personally that's just it ain't gonna work there's no way in hell you're gonna be touching on my cootie cat with a damn lime green nail like it's just it ain't gonna happen so i'm in the back of my mind i'm trying to get my friend's attention like girl pull off pull off because this is not going to work she not catching on because she just so he ex we exchanged numbers i immediately block him once we pull off because i'm like girl it just it's never going to be a thing it's never going to be a thing for me i do not like painted nails um all more power to the folks that do like painting nails. That's on you. And then what I also peeped on as well is he had rings on his hand. Not diamond rings, not a wedding band, but like those silver 
rings that people wear, right? And I'm very leery about men that wear those because I had a couple cousins um, that wore those same type of rings and they turned out to be gay, right? So I'm very leery about men with rings on their hands. And based on the nail polish, either he was hella metro or he was just bi maybe he was bi i mean that that's totally a thing you know people are really open to things nowadays so maybe he was just bi i'm not sure but either way it was a no for me it was it was an absolute no for me i'm gonna just take some brown i don't even know what brown this is but we're just gonna go in and just apply this into our crease first before we do some color i think i want to do pink today but i'm not i'm not 100 percent sold on it but anyway, and I, let me say this as well, because I know it's been some people in the comments like, oh my God, Ari, I'm sorry. I thought it was going to work out for you. Let me tell you something. Ari is living life. Why did I just talk about myself in third person? I don't know, but I am living life. I am not trying to find a man. That's not what I'm trying to do. And I'm sorry if it came off like that in the last video. Definitely not my intent. Um, I am really just trying to have fun. You know what I'm saying? So even if this shit does not work out with these people, I am perfectly fine with that because I am not trying to be in anything committed. Like, I just want to casually date where I go out, we may go to a comedy show, or we may go see a live band. That's the type of dating that I am trying to do right now in this moment. Nothing serious. This right here used to be my shit. This is the Juvia's Place palette. Oh, it's an eyelash on there. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> um, but I'm going to take this little dark color right here. And I'm probably going to go in with that on the lid. Because I absolutely love this pink palette. If I don't like no other pink, this be the one for me. Okay? But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Because like I said, I've seen some comments like that. Like, y'all, do not be sad for me. Your girl is really out here living her life. You know, like, I'm trying to figure out who it is that I am. What I like. What I don't like. You know, like, I'm really dating. I feel like before... Um, I didn't really date, you know, I would date just one person and then I would be ready to settle down. They would be ready to settle down. And before you know it, we in a damn relationship. No, big dog. I mean, I did have a whole face back in the day, you know. <laughs> and so right now at this point in my life, like I'm just trying to chill. I'm trying to date multiple people and just have a good time. And I'm not even one of those people who is going to be selfish and be like, oh my goodness, you can't date more than one person. You could date whoever the hell you want to date because honestly, next weekend, I'm probably not going to want to deal with you. So date whoever you want to date and I date whoever we want to date. But when we go out, we have a good time. Drama free. I love it. So I said all of that to basically say, guys, I'm okay. All right. I know y'all be worried about me, but y'all know me. I am super honest, super transparent. If I am not okay, I have no problem saying I am not okay. Your girl is over here guarding her heart, having a good time, living life. Baby, I am good, okay? So, with all of that being said, this is just some white concealer um, from e.l.f. that's in the shade Fair Warm. And I use this to cut my crease. I can't really see, so I'm going to use it on here. Um, but yeah, I use it to cut my crease just a little bit, you know, and get that off in there. But with all of that being said, y'all, I decided to sign up for a dating app, right? And um, the experience over the last week has been more than a little bit ghetto, right? Um, y'all know I love older men, so I did set the preference to people who are older than me. I just can't see myself being with somebody who is the same age as me or younger. And I say that because, and this is going to tie into something else that I'm going to talk about in the video. But I say that because my maturity level is way more mature than somebody who is my age. Okay, I'm going to take some pink from that same palette, same one we went into the crease with, and I'm just going to go in and, you know, get this together. So, when I say that my maturity level is different before everybody start hopping down my throat, I do not mean that in, like, a bad way, right? I just mean that, for me, I had to grow up. A little bit faster than I think most people my age had to grow up right and that's because I had kids when I was 20 um, and from there literally I have been nothing but a mom 
I cannot tell you. Somebody asked me the other day, like, what is it that I like? And I literally could not tell you the things that I like because for the last 10 years, my focus has been on my kids. Also, a reason why I feel like I vibe so much more with older women and women who are not my age because women who are not my age they are either still partying or you just now got out of that phase of going to the club and you know i don't even dress like people my age you know what i'm saying because y'all y'all be into like the two-piece outfits and all of that i ain't got the body for it so i don't dress like that but even if i did it's just my mindset is just completely different right so again not in a bad way it's just I chose a different path because my behind had kids. That's on me, right? That's my fault. So I didn't get to do like a, a lot of traveling, a lot of getting out, going out and partying because when I had kids, I didn't have a grandmother to drop them off to. They didn't have a grandmother to drop them off to because as y'all know my background, I am not close with my family. All right, I'm going to use this little pink right here. I told y'all about this one right here. I love this color. So I'm going to use that. Um, but yeah, I had the option of either you can still try to be out here in these streets if you want to or you could really just become a parent and man the fuck up and deal with your responsibilities i chose the latter i chose to become a parent man the fuck up and deal with my responsibilities it was my choice it's not their fault that they're here so therefore i'm not going to be less of a mother because i'm young you know so whereas people were out here traveling in their 20s i was at home with my kids you know um and like i said i could relate so much more to people who are older than me 37 36 because um at that age they were saving they saving money they saving for houses they doing this they doing that and at that time that's exactly what i'm on because um again i can't be out here spending because i I'm not, i don't qualify for food stamps you know what i'm saying I would love them, but I don't qualify for food stamps. I don't qualify for, you know, Medicaid and stuff like that. So I literally had to bust my ass in order to make it. And the money that we did have extra, I wasn't going to risk us having lights out or the rent not being paid. The mindset was just completely different. Going back in with that little pink again on these edges. And y'all know, of course, we're going to add some black because that's what I do, you know? Um, but yeah, so things were just different, right? So I can't relate to people who, again, like I told y'all in my last video, oh boy, want to talk about finesse two times. I can't relate to that, but I can relate to some Isley brothers, you know what I'm saying? Because the mindset is just completely different. So when people talk about, well, why are you only dating men who are older than you? And it's because the men who are my age can't really understand the fact that I really dedicated myself to being a mom the last 10 years, right? And um, you can't really relate to what I'm going through. And I can't really relate to what you've been through because we don't share the same path. I had to take the path of, uh, again, somebody who is 36, 37. You were taking the path of somebody that was 21, 22. You were living your life and I had to be somebody different. Hopefully all this makes sense and I'm not losing y'all. Because, you know, I'm not the best explainer. But that is why I enjoy older men, right? So I got the settings on the apps for older men. I think like um, 36 to... No, I did. I think I did 32. 32 to like, this is a little bit of black. 32 to maybe like 54, something like that. Because I can go 54. Because a lot of time, like I told y'all in the last video, that there are older men who still have a young mentality. They, not, they don't have to be young, young, you know, but they have a younger mentality. Now, I'm going to the club type shit, but they just have a younger mentality. So, I enjoy that. Now, I have really given it a shot of trying to date people who are around my age because I'm like, you just never know what Jesus has in store for you. I don't think that my soulmate is going to be somebody younger than me, so definitely didn't set the app settings to that, but you just never know, right? When I tell you I do not envy people who are really looking for something serious because, baby, and just the talks with these men, like somebody hurt them bad because they be on some other shit. This is NARS, the concealer. Of course it is. Not concealer, but this is my primer. Of course it is, because y'all know I love NARS. But yeah, they be on like some other stuff. Like immediately, I'm not I'm not taking you out on a bunch of dates. Like I'm not spending no money. Da, da, da. And I'd be like, this is exactly why I do not talk to men who are on 
the same age level as me because because of shit like that because I don't see nothing wrong with you taking me out on a date not saying that I can't pay my way but what is what is the biggest problem with you taking me out on a date and this ain't like you date multiple times these people are putting in their bios like I'm not I'm not spending no money on no bitch like you want to meet then we could just meet up like whoa this is a lot right it's winter again so I'm gonna try to use a little bit of my NARS uh, New Caledonia because I think my little chocolate chocolate phase and kind of phase out a little bit but I'm not sure y'all I'm not really sure um so yeah reading the bios um and I, I applaud some of them for being on there and being honest about what it is that they want because a lot of them were saying well I just want to fuck buddy or this is what I'm looking for da 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 like you know I, I applaud that but I'm a swipe left right because I don't want none of those problems I don't need none of that and then the amount of couples the amount of couples on these apps is crazy. I mean, do what you do. No judgment. I'm just saying it's just, it's pretty crazy the amount of couples I've been seeing on this app. And they're very upfront about what it is they want. They just want somebody to come in their bedroom. They want to date them. And I'm not going to lie. I would be interested to see how that plays out. Not with me personally, but if somebody has gone through that, you got a YouTube channel, you talk about it, let me know because I would totally be interested in that. All I could think of is what happens if you like one of them and don't like the other? Like what happens if you like the husband but you don't like the wife or vice versa? I like the wife but I don't really like the husband. How does that work? You know? Or do you just have to be into both of them? I don't know. I don't know. And then I think about that too. Like what happens if you start dating them and then all of a sudden you decide I want to carry on a relationship with just the husband or I want to carry on a relationship with just the wife like this could get very messy very quickly but if y'all like inviting people in your room you like inviting people in your room they got nothing to do with me every time I tell my friend I um I'm talking to somebody older he gets so grossed out and I'm like I don't understand because he did with women who are his age and every time you turn around you having to dispose of them because they act crazy like and he's like well they was messing with this dude and this dude like what either you want me to go through shit or you don't anyway uh back to the older man so i'm on the website and i started to match with a couple people my thing is i don't want a man with his pants hanging down off his ass that just ain't my thing i don't want that this is a little bit of nars cafe concealer sorry i forgot but i don't want that you know like i i just want me to clean cut dude so of course the older man got their pants pulled up they still believe in chivalry let's go out on a couple dates and they don't mind dating you and not expecting anything in return versus these men who want everything in return for just taking you out for chicken wings like that's just not my thing and i tried to talk to a couple of them and it was just no conversation of substance i'm gonna tell y'all how one of the conversations went like i'm not even joking literally matched with him He's like, um, no, hey, how you doing? Nothing. Just what you doing? And I told him because, again, it's late night. I told y'all during the week, girl, I'll be getting ready for work. So I told him, I said, I'm getting ready for work. He goes, oh, okay. Um, I said, I'm getting ready for work. What are you doing? He goes, oh, okay, well, I'm about to come see you. About to come see me where? And why do you keep inviting yourself to my house? Like, why do these men keep doing that? Are y'all out here allowing niggas to come to your house? And be honest be honest are you really allowing these men to come to your house because they're very comfortable just putting it out there sir i haven't even had a phone conversation with you yet we literally just swiped and matched i we have not had any type of conversation outside of that and you're already inviting yourself to my home i feel like even if you don't have kids it's still dangerous man or woman it's still dangerous for you to be allowing people to come to your house because you really don't know people's intentions um i don't know about y'all but i watch a lot of the id channel um and i cannot tell you how many men i've seen on there how many women i've seen on there be set up by people that they thought they could trust right so if i don't even know you i'm not gonna trust you in my home and i'd be too paranoid like somebody gonna come here when i'm not here you know i still believe in people be you know checking stuff or looking at oh she got a tv here okay bet you know getting the layout you don't know who they back at home communicating with you just i i would not even uh, as a man i wouldn't go and meet no woman at her house or at a hotel and i don't know her i would still be cautious as a man i could be setting you up to rob you 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 don't know what the hell and you talking about you trying to meet me 
that's why I'm asking y'all, like, is this really how it go out here? Because y'all know I've been out the game for a little minute, so I don't know. Is this really how it goes? Like, y'all just find something y'all like, and then, boom, y'all meet up with them? Or y'all let me know, because I, I don't know, but this ain't this ain't for me right so i hurry up i unmatch because i'm like yeah that's nigga you're a little too comfortable <laughs> you're a little too comfortable just inviting yourself to my house like how many times has that worked for you in the past people find that cute they think that's adorable i don't think that's cute at all especially when i told you i got kids like i feel like kids should be protected at all costs you don't know somebody's intentions i don't know how many times i have to say that like you really don't know what somebody's intentions are when you invite them to your home first i'm using some of my lord mercier because y'all know y'all know that's my stuff so gonna just get a little bit of that and begin to set under my eyes and remember i only set under my eyes with this the rest i either use beauty bakery or i will use the shade i think 30 from uh maybelline so anyway i'm just like is this what girls are doing? Is this what men are doing? Just going to people's houses like, mm -mm, get somebody else to do it, okay? I don't want to do that. I don't want to go to Junior's party. I just, I don't, okay? I don't want none of that. I watch too much damn TV for me to just be out here willy-nilly. And that's why I feel like does not everybody have YouTube or uh, cable or anything? Y'all not watching the ID channel? Because I watch it and I refuse to end up like that. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I don't trust that. No, 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 no. But I feel like I was telling my friend that... When I have conversations with older men, the vibe is always different. Meaning they'll ask me, hey, what it is, what is it that you like? Um, do you go out often? If you do, where do you go? Are you into live bands? Are you into jazz? Are you into blues? Like they really get to try to know you. And that's all I'm asking for. Like even if you could really give a shit less about what it is that I like, what I'm interested in, act like it, damn it. That's all you gotta do. That gets you draw. Just act like it. Act like it. And I be feeling like, y'all know I say what's on my mind, but I be feeling like I keep seeing this stuff on TikTok about women who have BV and stuff like that. And I be like, you know, if you got BV on your own, you abstinence, I'm sorry, okay? But men, I mean, women who have it and be with their boyfriends, this this probably why, because y'all just be hooking up with folks on the, on the strength of the first date. And letting them come to your house. Like y'all just around here spread the VB. Because he done went to your house. And then sent other bitches house he done met on the internet as well. So all y'all around there just swabbing vaginal secretions and shit. I don't know. It's just fucking weird. That's why I'm like I'm not I'm not willing to sleep with nobody. Because I don't want my pH off. Let me tell you something. I had, I had a yeast infection one time. My first and my goddamn last. Once I had that first yeast infection and I felt... How itchy that shit was. Oh, bitch. I've never had another one. Knock on some goddamn wood. Knock on some wood. But no, I've never had another one because, girl, like, who wants to be going through that? Absolutely no one. Since I've been with my ex or whatever, I have never had any problems. I have never, never had any problems. That's why I tell y'all, I think that it's the men that y'all be fucking on. Y'all don't want to believe it. Y'all don't want to believe it. But I'm the friend that's going to be honest with you. You got shit going on down there. That's your body telling you. That man's ain't right. He not right. Of course, I'm using my Patrick Star one size. I use this in every single video, y'all. The the face routine is gonna be the same. Like, I'm never gonna change that. Like, mm mm. Cause she gets the job done, right? Absolutely not. But yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all problems that y'all have with y'all with JJ's is literally due to the men that y'all are sleeping with, okay? Um, and we just gotta face reality that we have to stop dealing with those type of men like they not shit you know and i'm sorry but i'm just not gonna put my body at risk for no one that's why i said like i'm not really sad or really in the market to meet nobody because like i ain't had no problems out of my ex that's one thing i can really say about him he clean he take care of himself i know he not out here just fucking bitches just fuck bitches so I'm going to stay sexually. I'm going to stay over there. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like emotionally and stuff like that, oh, yeah. I'm going to get out. I'm going to have my fun. I'm going to do what I do. But sexually, oh, hell no. I'm not I'm not ready to risk that right now. And I'm going to be honest. Like, y'all have to get a doctor 
who is going to be completely honest with you as well. Because I know my doctor don't play. He get on my damn nerves and he be so fucking honest. He be like, um, has your partner got tested? How about you bring him on up here and we get him tested as well? You know, like he, he be on it. Y'all have to find y'all a doctor that y'all can really be honest with. Um, in order to get this thing situated. Now, I don't know how common BV is. I, I honestly don't know about it. Um, but I, I just, I think it's more to it that so many women have it, especially women who are out here having sex with these men. I just, I feel like it's more to it. I feel like y'all know I'm going to blame the dudes. I'm going to blame dudes all the time. It's them. It's them. And we have to come to our senses and stop letting them play with our tops like this because, girl, like I said, I had one yeast infection one time and I was like, uh-uh, because I'm not about to be walking around itching. Like this, this, uh-uh, this, this one thing I'm not going to play about. I'm not going to play about my kitty, okay? And I'm not about to be walking around itching or smelling foul or having discharge. It's, we need to, we need to get better with going to the doctor and getting these things diagnosed because that's not okay. I understand it should be a safe community. I'm not judging y'all. You know, I never judge y'all. I love y'all. But at the same time, we could talk about it, but we also need to get to a point that we make it better, if that makes sense. Okay, so y'all know how we highlight. We're going to use the shade 20 from Fit Me Maybelline to highlight under these eyes, and then we're going to use shade 30 to highlight everywhere else, you know? That's just how we get it, me and you. But I don't think it's anything wrong with y'all really having a conversation with your doctor. I think we are all adults um, and that is a conversation that needs to be had because our health is so important. You know, especially vaginal health. That's, that's super important. I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you everything that's going wrong, baby. But I can tell you that constant, I don't know. I just feel like having constant BV. I don't know how your body is working. It might be your diet, baby. I don't know. But you should want to get that fixed and, and corrected because I can only imagine that it's probably super unbearable for you to walk around in something that may be embarrassing to you so more power to you I think it's a discussion that needs to be had but also just make sure that you are being super careful about the men that you choose to sleep with um this is a little beauty bakery I lied normally I would use um the shade 30 but I want like more of a toned down look today because i mean we didn't do it so much we didn't do it so much on the face if you guys have made it here make sure you guys like comment and subscribe girl because i'll be out here you know and we be vibing together me and you right i don't know if i'm at like the auntie stage yet but i am totally at like the big sis stage you know so i could be i've never had any sisters i could be y'all sister that'd be what's up you know i could do that i have another wig tutorial coming um, I'm sorry y'all, I know y'all probably hate those, but I am getting paid to do those now and the fee is pretty damn nice and let me just say this as well. I have touched so much money this year and I'm not saying that in like a bragging way at all. I'm saying that in like I am super grateful. Um, but I seen this TikTok of this lady, the lady who used to be on Insecure, the brown skin lady. Don't remember her name. Um, I had to try to look it up and see what her name was. But she was on TikTok. I seen a video of her and she literally said that for the longest time after she started Insecure, she still stayed in her, you know, like apartment that was in the hood, low rent or whatever, because nobody really talks about in the black community, especially what you're supposed to do when you come into wealth right and I think that is such a good topic of discussion because nobody really talks about that right and I, I felt her on so many levels of just being afraid to spend the money and waste the money but from the main thing that she said is at what point do you start to allow yourself to really have nice things she said at what point do you Stop living in a poverty mindset because you've been broke for so long or you have been just just barely cutting it for so long that when you do have money, you don't spend it because you just never know when some shit going to pop up. And I felt her so hard on that because honestly, that is how I have been living. Although I got a better job, um, more money, way more money. Um, and now we're securing sponsorships of being paid for my videos. 
honestly, it's it's still like, damn, I'm going to just save all of that, right? I don't even buy myself shit for fear that something's going to come up. At what point do you start to live? I said all of that to say, like I said, when I heard her say that, I was like, that hit me so hard because I literally have not been living my life. I've still been living like, you know, I didn't have it. And I have so much guilt when I buy myself stuff. It's the weirdest thing. I'll buy stuff for my house that I know me and my kids can enjoy. I'll buy TVs. I'll buy furniture. I'll buy, you know, like stuff that I feel like is tangible. But buying clothes and stuff for myself, like I still have not actually done that. I said I'm going to do that this year um, and just kind of revamp my closet because it's been such a long time. But I have guilt when I do buy it because... I always feel like, oh my goodness, that was money that you could have put into your savings account. Or what if something happens and now you don't have that money? It's it's hard, you know, but I have been living with PTSD so damn long that I have finally decided I'm going to stop. It is time for me to enjoy the, the fruits of my labor. It is time for me to really enjoy life because i've spent so long not enjoying life and you really just don't know when your last day on this earth is going to be and my question to myself lately has been if today is your last day have you lived the life you wanted to live and have you done everything you wanted to do and honestly my answer is no and so that shit, it stops today. We live in life, y'all. And I'm going to try to take y'all along. I'm going to see if I can get a new camera, like the little vlog camera. Because the one that I have is kind of bulky. It's kind of hard to take around. So I'm going to see if I can get like a, a little small one. And we're going we gonna to live life together, okay? All right, y'all. I got this from um, Target. I have been wanting to do this so long, but I've been so scared to get orange a blush, okay? Because there's a certain tone of orange that I feel like will look good on me. So we're going to try this. This is from Beauty Bakery. This shade is, hold on, Hey Pumpkin, right? So we're going to see. Hopefully, it don't come out too damn orange. And I'm going to be careful because uh, Beauty Bakery is super pigmented. One thing I love about them is that they are super pigmented oh that's pretty okay beauty bakery okay i'm i'm here for it i'm here for it i likes it i have been hearing about orange blush y'all know but i haven't used an eyeshadow because i was too lazy to actually go and get a blush that is um orange but yeah this right here oh she's she's hitting i like her i like her okay it just kind of warms it up just a little bit you know it gets us in the game. You know, I'm here for it. I like it. Okay, right, let's go ahead and blend out this under eye. i blend that out because I think my under eye lashes are dry. So I think it should be fine. I'm just going to blend all of that out. If you've made it here, make sure you guys subscribe. I don't know how many times I got to tell y'all that. You know what I wanted to try, y'all? I literally wanted to uh, try this crumble cookies that I've been hearing so much about. I've been seeing so many mixed reviews on it. Like some people say it's good. Other people say it's nasty. So I really don't know what to believe. But I wanted to try it for myself and do a review on it. Would y'all be interested in reviews? Like me doing reviews on stuff? Because I'm a foodie. I love food. Would y'all be interested in that or no? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, so then I'm going to take my four... 60 as y'all can see I've reached pan on this. This is my absolute favorite. It's by Fenty, right? And I'm gonna let y'all know because somebody asked me about the shades I be wearing. I say it in the video, but not only do I say it in the video, but girl, I also put them in the description for you. Like what else do you want me to do? I'm not sure, okay? But there's not too much else I can do about it, alright? So it's also in the description uh box, so you guys can definitely check that out there as well. But I like to do the 460 just to bring everything together you know All right y'all y'all know what time it is okay we're gonna go in with some uh mac chestnut y'all know this is like my favorite now it wasn't before because i don't know how to use it but right now right now this is the shit y'all i have been trying and trying to get this hair to curl because y'all know i love my curls um but this hair is literally so long that I can't get it to hold a curl the way I want to without cutting layers into it and I really did not want to cut layers into it because I feel like when then when you go to wear it straight depending on how the layers were cut sometimes it don't look right it don't all look like one unit of course I'm going in with my I'm like looking child every time I set something down I lose it I'm going in with my um 
Nubian Sam by Juvia's. I seen somebody use this damn chestnut, a dark fan girl, and it came out so brown on her. I was like, we couldn't possibly be using the same thing because, no, mine's don't come out that damn brown. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Morphe. This is in the shade Chill, okay? Because some people should chill, you know? And I'm just gonna use just a little bit. A little bit, a lot of it. Y'all know how to do. Alright guys, so here we are. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about today's video. I feel like we went over so much. Um, if you are out there dating, just make sure that you are being super safe. Don't let these people come to your house. Please, I am begging you, okay? Um, do not let them come to your house. Be super safe. If you need to do a background check, do a background check. Girl, ain't nothing wrong with that. We are no longer... Um, if you have a whole phase, like you can totally have a whole phase, but just, just be careful. Okay. Anyway, I gotta go. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time.